now i call upon dr suvin bhattacharya ji uh, he'll be talking about uh, video editing how to edit you have made a very good video and you want to present it to a conference or something so how do you go about video editing dr uh, suvin please thank you very uh, much thank you arun uh, for this opportunity uh, looks like we got a good audience okay uh, i'm suvin bhattacharya i don't have any financial interest in any uh, software that i'll be showing uh, a quick question show of hands uh, how many of you have edited edited a video so far Kakadiya Sato and Ramesh will definitely have edited videos. So I guess, is there anybody who hasn't edi edited a video as yet? Okay, Tejas. Good, we'll take that on face value. Okay. So, mm, now editing is pretty much like cooking. So you get your ingre ingredients in place, your raw materials, ingredients, put them together, and then you start cooking, and the final product actually takes some time. So. These are the basic steps in editing. We have your raw materials, raw video clips, animations, images, audio clips, narration script. Please, please, however fluent a speaker you are, you need a script. I have been editing and speaking for donkey's years, but I, even now when I give a presentation, I have a written script. If I record, if I'm editing a video, I have a written script because you have to put it within the frames and it has to come exactly. Next is a project. A project is basically just an interface between your raw materials and your integrated and your output. The project, if you look at the file size, it's a very small file size. It does nothing, it just sources information from here, you process it over here and you output it and then export it and render it. So, but the, pro the project is what which does, which is basically the backbone and does a lot of work. Now, when it comes to editing, that's when you work on the project and you edit, it. you add a title, you edit your videos, you do insert animations, edit uh, images, add subtitles, add narration clips, add background music, credits, and then finally export it. Your project is still allows you the versatility to, to export it in any format that you want. Like Dr. Satish said, you could go to MP4, you could go to WMV, you could go to any format that you choose. Even if you could keep it in AVI, but that would be a huge file. So you can choose how you want to go. So the file form, that project is a very important file in your work. So this would be my folder for a particular video that I prepared. It's, it was called, it's time for the hexagon. Obviously, if I'm speaking, I can't leave BX very far behind. Get some mileage out of this. <laughs> so, so. So this is my raw material. So you see, I have my images. I had iris hooks animation images. I had Maluring, iring, uh, OSS expand animations, six iris, something, something. Now, if you see these projects, now projects is 2059. My projects also have various versions because I don't want to lose. I prepared something, I've done. Next, I've gone to the second version. And then I feel, no, no, I need that version of it. Uh, I've done some editing over there, so I can always go back. So I just save it as, save as the next version. So it's one hexagon, two hexagon, three hexagon, three hexagon silent, four hexagon, four hexagon narration only. So these are various things you can play with. And if you see the projects is 2059 KB, 337, but if you go to the video, actually it's a huge file. Now this is my desktop, okay? So uh, don't get, uh, I mean, this is uh, actually I've captured screen. So you m this is exactly what my desktop looks. This is, I'm opening my Filmora 9, which I have a lifetime license for. Uh, this is one of the easiest platform to work on. You open Filmora 9, it gives you an option as to what, select the project aspect ratio. So that is important. We have all moved to 16.9. There's a time when we, uh, the dinosaurs over here, we used to do four to, four to three. So now it's 16.9 uh, for all of us. This is my project. I've opened a blank project. So what are the parts of a project? Familiarize yourself with this, and this is exactly what all softwares work. All softwares, this is the standard theme. Where they put one part is, is different, but basically it has these things. So you have a media panel, you have a player panel, and you have a timeline panel. This is all that is there in all softwares. How you play around with it is up to you, and how you use it is up to you. Now, so what do we have in these? Let's go to the media planner to start with on the left upper screen. I hope you're getting my whole screen, yeah. So, 
Uh, the general taskbar is there, file, edit, that's like any other Word document or something. File, edit, tool, I'll come to each one of them. Tools, view, export, and uh, help. Help is very useful. If you're working on a new software, you get a lot of useful information from the help. And actually, the YouTube is flooded with videos which teach you very easily how to edit. You can go to the uh, manufacturers, uh, the uh, producers sort of thing, site, and they have like, excellent tutorials. Then we come to the editing taskbar, which has media, audio, titles, transitions, effects, elements, so on. Media collections. Now this place gets populated only when you draw media from somewhere, from your raw videos. You draw in over there, that's when this gets populated. There could be some like sample videos, sample colors which are already populated. So you can draw from that. I'll be showing you li uh, uh, practically live editing, rather deferred live editing. Okay. So then you have the preview player. Whatever you are doing on your project, you can play around, do whatever it's, it's shown on your preview screen. So that gives you an idea as to, that is generally a lower format than what will be finally produced because you can, because if you keep that, uh, that I'll show you how you do over here. So, but it gives you a good picture of which frame you have kept, which frame you have not kept, which segment flip you have kept, which you have not kept. And your entire timeline, it, it shows you, you can, as you uh, scroll over it. Now we come to two important things. This is uh, the video track, where my pointer is the video track and the audio track. Now this is the basic uh, software when you opened it. The video track, there's only a single video track and a single audio track. Uh, when you actually finally edit, you'll have three video tracks, two audio tracks, so that will all be going simultaneously and finally when you finish, I'll just show you, this is what my project looked like. It's a eight minute video, 7.59, and you see my, uh, do I have a pointer over here? I'll mouse, uh, yeah, okay, fine. You'll have two my mice over here then. <laughs> so, <laughs> so this is my, uh, the, all my videos that I use, videos, stills, animations, I've put all everything over here. This is my project media, it says project media. And this is what is working. And you see I have got one, two, three video lines, two audio lines. And what is that? This is my main video. This has got some stills, some other clips, and some uh, subtitles. See these T's are title subtitles. And this has also got some images, uh, PIPs. I want image on image. I'll have one video line on another. OK. So this is how it works. This is my narration. And you see, my narration is not entire seven minutes in one go. It's so many clips. I'm playing around with the pause and speak. The pause and speak, you need to have adequate pauses in your narration to let the audience digest what you're saying. And as I speak also, I'm giving you pauses, you will see. I want you to take in, soak in what you have heard so that you process it. You have to have time to process it. Now, and of course, there is the audio behind. Uh, a lot of people use uh, songs. Refrain from using that, that's confusing use very low instrumental music and keep that only in the big background to fill in the pauses, to fill in the gaps in your narration. It should not overshadow your narration. When, you are, you, when the, your narration is on, there is, the audio is actually just there in the background far away. So let's say, now each one of this, this is a file. Now under file you have a new project, open project, and this is all standard, you see, we'll so edit when we use this, you will see how we work. We export. So I said, you can create video, you can export to device, you can upload to YouTube directly, you can upload to Vimeo, we can burn a DVD, and of course nobody uses a DVD these days. And then you have online help. Uh, that button which I showed you on the right upper is your save. So this save is a very, very useful button. Every time you're doing your project, every few seconds or minutes you have to keep hitting save otherwise you, your laptop crashes which happens because it, your RAM is flooded. So when your RAM is flooded it just will crash suddenly and you will lose a project of, and lot of work. So make sure you keep get into the habit. Uh, we have all, all of us who have edited videos have burnt our fingers and we know that you worked a lot and then suddenly your thing crashes and you lose that whole project or it just hangs. You just finished. So like I said media, thumbnails will show only after we import media over here. Okay, and let's see that's what. So this is sample videos are there. Now, there's, it's already loaded over there. If you want to use those, it's not relevant for us. This is for people who, YouTubers and stuff like that. 
And now you have audio. You have audio over here, which is basically, uh, these are again standard songs and music and all, which again we may not use. Uh, these are titles which are there. These are relevant, and I'll show you how to use it. Transitions. Now, there is a lot of us who use our transitions in our PowerPoint in videos. Tell me, when you saw the last movie, did you ever see a transition? Fading away, grains, blowing out, blowing in. Have you ever seen that in a movie? Why should we use it like fools? It's just cut frame, go next. It's just cut, straight cut, a dead cut. That's all it is. There is never a transition. Please do not look at this. This is the most useless part of the software. It only has fancy stuff. Effects, again, that you can use if you like. Upon, uh, if you want to make up for some parts of your video where you actually have uh, not got a good raw segment, so you can probably use that. A split screen is very useful. You should know, I mean, you can use, if you want to use two, three uh, videos at the same time, simultaneously, it, it is very helpful. Of course, in the PowerPoint, you can do have two videos. That's a different thing. But when you're doing in a video presentation, this is the me, uh, player panel. So player panel has play, uh, stop, and one frame back, one frame front. If you see this, this is one frame back, one frame front. This is very useful. And it's doing a lot of tight editing, it's very useful. You go to this. Now, this uh, half is actually your uh, quality of your image on the player panel. And then these are, this allows you to take a screenshot. A shot. A screenshot right then, one snapshot, okay? And you can save that. And actually, if you want to some, some, sometimes create space in your narration, you just take a snapshot and put it there, and you get another five seconds over there to complete your narration for that. Of course, this is the volume, and this goes to full, free, full, full screen. Now, this is where it's undo and redo. Very simple, these are. This is uh, the bin. You can uh, d delete, cut, and there are other things. So now we come to, uh, yeah, so uh, here. Here again, this is very useful over here. This is where you can put a marker, but that's not important. Mic, your mic is over here. So when you're recording your narration, this comes into play. This is something uh, very useful. This allows you to get the entire project. See, your project would be, when I uh, keep two video clips or three video clips, it goes on to almost say half an hour. Okay, now that has to be on my entire project. So you click this button and you get the entire project within your frame, screen. Okay, so you keep it. But then again, when you want to go frame by frame and go slow, you want to extend that timeline. Okay, make it, so this is what you play with and you can actually just use this as, you can minimize and maximize in the sense that you can stretch that timeline and shrink that time timeline, okay? At the same time, you can, and then we go on to, like I said, you can add an audio track, a video track, add an audio track, you can delete empty tracks, you can adjust track height, you can do. So this, this, this thing, I can just drag this up and it will, Give me three tracks over here, space for, room for three track. Now this is what is called a playhead. This is what we keep toggling here and there all through our video editing. It just keeps going up and down and you can use that to cut that uh, clip over there. You can bring it down, so if I want to cut the uh, video clip and leave the audio clip, if I use it generally and cut from here, I'll be cutting both. I could just click on the video over here, sorry. Sorry, sorry. So I could click on the video track and select the video track and just cut the video track, the video clip. I could drag that head down and come to the audio track and select the audio track and cut the audio track or my narration track. So I can play around with that as much as I want. So let's do some video editing, deferred editing, let's say. So I'll, I'll be gathering raw video clips. I'll be creating a project and adding video titles. Dr. Suvain, two minutes. Yeah, I see. Because we need to do some discussion. Okay, we'll do it. We'll do that. Right. <coughs> so let's search video run, and you will see as it uh, runs. Uh, okay. So import media files. I'm going to import media files from my raw videos over here, which was taken from my DS DSLR camera. I've imported a video. I'll save the project now, straight away. So I save it as one. I want to show, uh, actually, pupil stretch in a partially engaged BX ring. Okay. So I just named it as one people stretch. I can give that one name because I, I'm going to go four versions eventually, probably. Okay, and I save it. So it's now uh, written over here, one people stretch, part engaged. Now let's see. Audio on. Audio. Yeah, please. Come on, these guys. 
ऑडियो ऑन है आपका So we go on, and this has got audio on it. Uh, so bear with me, some parts. This is my raw video. It's got audio on it. Yes, it's recording my over sound. So now what do I do? I want to detach the audio. So I click, and I detached the audio, and I have deleted that audio. So now my project has become less heavy. Now I see the entire project, what all I have recorded. And what I want to show and what I want, don't want to show, I'm going to add a title file first. So it's very difficult, Arun, to finish in two minutes. If you want to do it, so it's, there's no point in me talking. We need to give the hall to the other, and we need to take That's some exactly questions. That's exactly what I told you. Don't <coughs> squeeze me in the end like this. Mm. It makes no meaning for me to prepare like this. So I can just let it run, and you can see. You can have it next year that I'll speak. This is makes no sense. It's a waste of my effort. I don't know how much you'll understand, but this is how it is. Because I can't. Hey. You want me to close? I'll close it. No, uh, one more minute for you and then we go for, because then we'll be left with only five minutes for discussion. Yeah. I don't know whether they agree to, but it's uh, going to, okay, I'll, yeah. Huh, I'll ask this. I don't know what you want me to do. No, I don't know if either the chief inspector has to allow me, otherwise I, I just don't do it. <laughs> I told you in the morning. I, 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 the oh. morning. <laughs> I told you don't squeeze me in the end. You, you don't have to tell me in the morning, you have to tell me when we are submitting the course. Okay, anyway, uh, <coughs> we'll finish it in time. So you added the titles. This video shows people stretching in a partially engaged BX. Oh, we have five minutes to have. And B hex. So this is my uh, final version and then we are going to export it over here. I'm adding music. I'm adding music over here and now I've uh, just got it to the correct. This video shows people stretching. Now I see that the music is very loud so I just lower the music volume. Audio on it. This video shows people stretching in a partially so engaged that BX. It's okay. So now we export it, and uh, that's how it goes into export. And uh, then I have my video over here in my. This phone. video shows people stretching so in a partially video, engaged BX. Uh, actually, I couldn't show you what I wanted to show, so it's a shame. Thank you. Yes, please. Uh, questions. Yeah, yeah. You can do, uh, you can reverse it. You can flip. You can vertically uh, reverse. You can do whatever you No, want. no. What I'm trying to tell you is that can we make left to the right, right to the left? Yes. Or yeah. No? Mirror image. Mirror image. Mi horizontally flip, vertically flip, uh, beginning to end, end to beginning. You can do whatever you want. Without losing the quality? Or you can yeah, mostly it doesn't. Mostly it doesn't. Play. Lifetime license for Fillmore on Nine. How much it uh, was? No, it was very. It was I think less than, less than ten thousand bucks when I did it. Okay. Uh, that was about <coughs> three four years back. So, so I think Fillmore Eleven is already here. Uh, uh, it doesn't allow me to upgrade, but I think this is pretty good actually. 
So but I'm not. So even if you change the computer, the license stays. I don't know. If I upgrade, uh, they they come as offers, but uh, they don't show the value. So if I hit the upgrade, and then I do not purchase or something or whatever, I don't want to go to that situation. Then they trap me, and they give me a higher version, and then they say that now every time. So I have a lifetime license. So every time <coughs> I go to export, every time I go to export, they will ask you. For, you have to be connected to the net, and they will verify your account. So your email and password has to be there. Okay. So when you want to export, till such time they'll allow you everything. Sir, Da Vinci is one of the software which is free. Uh, the regular version is very much free. Only if you want certain uh, very high-end editing uh, tools, which we usually don't need. Th those are the paid ones, but the DaVinci, they regularly keeps upgrading and it is free and it is on the similar uh, UI, or the similar uh, background. So DaVinci has been used for many years. Yes. And I think it's too complicated for doctors to use. Not really, it's so almost the same as Filmora, but it's getting used to it, Filmora yeah. Filmora and iMovie, I think they are looking very similar. I think uh, both are easy, very easy to do. So, so what you can do is, once you are, uh, you uninstall, you install a new DaVinci, and it will ask you which of the formats you are comfortable uh, whether you are uh, comfortable with FCP or with Filmora or whatever you say, then it will bring the same uh, interface in front of you. So if you say that I'm more familiar with Filmora, the interface will be of s similar to Filmora. This, this <coughs> and uh, if you say I'm more familiar to Final Cut Pro, so the interface will be more uh, similar to Final Cut Pro. Yeah, I want to add something. Mm -hmm. So as ophthalmologists and doctors, we are very ethical people. Okay, so there are so many cracked versions available in yes. the gray market. So you can as well uh, download them. And uh, you know, if you need any tips on that, I can provide you all the 